Hi everyone, it's uh, Simon Keeling here again. It's Tuesday afternoon and just giving you an update on conditions during the next few days because it looks as if we're in for another tranche of rain and very strong winds on Friday and I wanted to keep you up to date on that. Um, here's how things look today. We've got this nice ridge of high pressure in look. It's uh, bringing some lovely spells of sunshine across the country at the moment. This front though, out towards the west, is going to be edging in. These charts, by the way, are from weatheronline.co.uk. Here it comes, look. In comes the front during the course of tonight and then it weakens as it reaches the country and just dissipates across the whole of the country during the course of Wednesday. Some patchy outbreaks of rain, some showers may make it through, but really very, very few. reason this is dissipating is that the upper trough associated with it is stuck out here. It's way, way, way out to the, uh, to the west, and so it means this cold front just doesn't have any energy left in it it's just dying away so um, as we go through Wednesday evening we we'll might well find and this is something to watch out if you're farming in the far southeast just a little reinvigoration of the front as it hits the warmth of the eastern channel and northern France could just clip uh, coasts of Kent and eastern Sussex during the evening one to watch out for there and look it just clips again into the coasts of Suffolk and then Norfolk overnight into the uh, into about daybreak on Thursday before clearing into the sea. So within this sort of area, just keep an eye out, you could get um, a dose of rainfall, perhaps 5 to 10 mil unexpectedly from that feature. Bridge of high pressure then building in from the west through Thursday. That brings a few showers with it, most of them affecting these western coasts, perhaps merging to longer spells of rain at times there. And becoming breezy in the south too, you can see here Thursday afternoon just scattered showers and sunny spells. One or two of these though could be quite heavy, particularly in the west. Now. This area of low pressure is going to be is the parent low spawning another low look down towards the south. Watch what happens as we get in towards Friday. Here it comes, deepening heavy periods of rain moving in during the course of Friday afternoon, right the way across Ireland, Wales, southwest and central parts of England, and then uh, it passes its way northwards overnight. And then it's the turn of the rest of Ireland, northern England, the Midlands eastern England to be seeing some heavy rain and then it clears out to the North Sea on Saturday with heavy rain for Ireland and parts of northern England by then. Showers coming across the south but look how close together the ice bars are. Really windy conditions coming through as we turn and settled in towards Saturday. This rain persisting into Saturday night across Scotland. Elsewhere into Sunday it should become drier, still got low pressure there but we'll find some showers affecting western coasts, many eastern areas drier as a ridge of high pressure builds in and then into the early part of next week so we see a few showers breaking out again but watching this area of rain look coming in on another one of these small areas of low pressure running up the channel, southern, coasts of, southern counties of England at risk at the moment for more heavy rain early part of next week and then as this low moves in it will bring more unsettled conditions across many areas into the middle of next week although this one not quite as deep as the one that preceded it but it will control the weather as it moves into the North Sea during the back end of next week high pressure out here to the west trying to build in but it can't because this area of low pressure keeps on trying to come back in bringing showers down these eastern coasts and more unsettled conditions but drier weather out towards the west. Okay, hope that's been useful for you. Friday is a uh, Friday into Saturday, definitely the days to watch and uh, keep the sun shining. I'll see you soon.